مرحبا اصحابي اسمي كابتن فيزمن اه 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 do you like what I did there? Hi everyone my name is Captain Fizzman and today I am going to be teaching you how to speak Lebanese Yes, now I am Lebanese Australian, my parents are from Lebanon so I have learned Lebanese as a child and everything and what happens is that when you're taught as a child you are taught basic Lebanese, so you're taught how to say hello, how to say bye, how to say count to 1 to 10 which I, can, which I will be teaching you guys all these and some common phrases that you may know and also the ways in which to use this to use the language now the Lebanese language is written is used in two different ways by writing or speaking now I've learned this through some YouTube videos one in particular by Hiba Najim I'll link her channel down below she is a Lebanese, Lebanese YouTuber I believe uh, but she does teach how to speak Lebanese if you want to know more please go check out her channel down below now without further ado I present to you if you're wondering what I was playing in the short little intro that is the Lebanese national anthem now I've tried to learn this it's as hard as it's hard AF but it's not that it's not difficult to learn I sometimes get the word mixed up and everything but uh, I do make up for that by knowing my Lebanese our father and a bit of the Hail Mary and also the song of the Christ in Lebanese. Okay, now we'll start with greetings. Now there are two different types of greetings that you can use. You have your marhaba which means hello which I said in the beginning of the video and you have your ahlan which is the one that we may my, I commonly use when I'm speaking to our Lebanese relatives over in Lebanon. When you're saying a greeting, it would be Mahaba or Ahlan Ismi, which is my name, and then you put your name. So for me, it's Ismi Kapitan Fitzman or Anthony Farah. Now you guys know this, so you're not sort of surprised. Now, when you after they said their name, you will say Kifik or Kifak. Now Kifik. It's for a girl, get back is for a boy, a male or female. When you say good, so if you're talking to a male, you say, or if you're a male, you will say ni, or if you're female, you say ni ha. Now, so when we do an example, marhaba or hlen, es mi antini fara, kifik or kifak, and they say ni or ni ha, and there you go. Now, I'm sure most of you guys have seen a Summer Heights High clip. If you're in Australia, you know what I'm talking about. How Mr. G is talking to the guy, to the to the boy, and he was talking about oh, a different language and how his mom speaks Lebanese at home and everything. So yeah, that's where there may be. It may sound very vulgar, but it actually is it. It's the way it actually is pronounced and it's spelled K E F E K. Kifik or Kifak. The E in the, the E is replaced with an A. Now counting. To 1 to 10. Okay, so you have your Wahid, Nain, Gladi, Arba, Hamse, Siti, Saba, Mani, Disa, Asha. Now we come to the end of our conversation and we're saying, saying, saying goodbye. So you say either Bahar Turgun, which is bye or see you later. Or even if you want to be very nice and modest, Alamak, which I sometimes think that you're saying get lost to see like that's how I've seen it, but actually it isn't. It's actually Alamak is God be with you. So I will I think that's about it so I can really teach you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the uncut. Thank you for watching guys, if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe down below. If you want to see my previous content, it's on my right, left, here, in a box, or we like down below diagonally and my end card is there. My social media is also in my end card and also down below in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out, I love you guys. Au revoir, arrivederci, alamar, and goodbye.